Are you a Nigerian? Are you a horticulturist or a lover of plants? Have you seen this flower in a garden, the wild, your backyard, or in your neighborhood? This is the Coastal Spectabilis, Nigeria's national plant, a once common plant in the Nigerian landscape. But this plant today can be described as threatened and in obscurity, which led to Mr. Thomas's 11-year search for the plant from 2007 to 2018. Propelled by the love of nature, wildlife, marine life, plants, insects and all, this Nigerian urban and regional planner turned horticulturist Mr. Emmanuel Thomas in 2007 came up with an idea of creating a unique garden design concept out of a rare plant that will be the theme of a new garden design. In the process of creating a new and unique garden design, in 2007, the plant Costa Spectabilis came to mind. The plant came to mind as I had been taught in 1995 by my primary five social studies teacher that the Costa Spectabilis, Nigeria's national plant, symbolizes Nigeria's beauty. The Costa Spectabilis, Nigeria's national plant, can be found at the base of the Nigerian coat of arms. The Nigerian coat of arms is a symbol of our national unity, identity and state power. The Coastal Spectabilis is said to have been chosen because it was a common plant found in different geographical areas of Nigeria in the past. Due to the national significance of this plant, I set out in search of it in the southwestern part of Nigeria in a bid to make it the theme of my new garden design. After several months of searching from local gardeners and friends, Mr. Thomas discovered that the plant Costa Spectabilis, our national plant, was neither known nor recognized by many plant lovers and many citizens of Nigeria. The situation became more worrisome when he took a closer look at the coat of arms and discovered that the color of the plant was depicted as red. This was worrisome because his primary school teacher had earlier in 1995 taught the class that the coastal spectabilis flower is yellow. Yes, at this point, I became confused and agitated because of the obvious contradictions. Therefore, I decided to research further. Initially, I was led to assume that the coastal spectabilis may bear both red and yellow flowers due to the red misrepresentation in the Nigerian coat of arms. An authority I could not imagine to be wrong. But in the course of my continued research, I discovered to my dismay that the plant bore only yellow flowers and that the plant Costa Spectabilis, our national plant, is even threatened in Nigeria. It was at this point that I made up my mind to take it as a national duty, not to only save the plant from extinction and obscurity, but also to ensure that the erroneous representations in the coat of arms are corrected. His efforts to find the coastal spectabilis involved traveling far and wide across Nigeria, thus meeting experts in horticulture and conservation. These included some members of the National Conservation Foundation, NCF, and the Lekki Conservation Center, LCC. He offered money for information to plant lovers, gardeners, and horticulturists within Nigeria and the West African sub-region. Mr. Thomas also researched online, where he met a Zambian gardener, Mr. Nick Whiteman, the owner and director of Dabuyu Farms Limited and Home Garden Landscape Consultants Limited. Nick proved to be very knowledgeable on the coastal spectabilis. He provided Mr. Thomas with information on the plant based on his experience in its cultivation. He also provided him with further evidences on the plant and its flower's color, which is documented in the Flora Zambesiaca by Q. This book stated that the coastal spectabilis flower color is yellow, rarely bright orange only. In 2016, I was informed by a friend, who is also a gardener, that I could find the plant Costa Spectabilis in Ekwe. 
a friend and I, with the help of some locals, combed Ekwe environs until we arrived at Ide Oni. At Ide Oni, we met an elderly medicine man. Upon showing him the pictures of the coastal spectabilities on my phone, I was convinced he knew the plant, coastal spectabilis, because he emphasized in describing the plant to us that the plant does not like to grow in an environment where other plants rather than it will choke it. He said the plant loves to grow in its own space. This local medicine man's statement corroborated Nick's assertion that the coastal spectabilis is a ground story plant, that it withdraws from areas of dense vegetation, and that it grows in areas of sparse vegetation. This also substantiates what the Ekpe medicine man told Mr. Thomas with regards to why he thinks the plant disappeared from the area. The medicine man had told Thomas that the plant began to disappear from the area when the government built a school in the village and imported grasses for the landscaping of the compound. The new grasses spread all over the area, forcing the plant, the coastal spectabilis, to disappear gradually. Both Nick and the Ekpe medicine man confirmed that the plant becomes dormant in dry season and blooms in rainy season. Nick said in Zambia, the coastal spectabilis does well in stony soil and on termite molds. Nick also educated Thomas on its propagation, transplanting, and some characteristics of the coastal spectabilis. In March 2018, Mr. Thomas wrote to the Royal Botanic Gardens, Q, for information on the coastal spectabilis. Mr. Craig Bro, the Information Service Librarian, Arts and Archives, Royal Botanic Gardens, Q, Richmond, Surrey, responded to Mr. Thomas that there was not much available information on its propagation and cultivation, but he sent him scanned pages containing the medicinal values of the plant. Within the same period, while working at Sarius Palmetum and Botanical Garden, Abuja, Thomas met Mr. Mohamed Gaba Boyi, Senior Manager and Head, Abuja Office of the National Conservation Foundation. Mr. Mohamed provided Thomas information that the plant Coastal Spectabilis can be found in Plateau State, not Central Nigeria. Thomas immediately contacted Nick about the development and to gather more information on the collection and propagation techniques necessary. Nick had earlier warned about the difficulty of collection and propagation to a new site. Mr. Thomas was thus gladdened that the 11 years of search had not been in vain. In June 2018, again, I was informed by Mohamed Gaba, an environmentalist, that I could find a plant, Coastal Spectabilis, in Plateau State. With a common crew, I traveled to Baring Kinladi, Plateau State, on arriving Plateau State, unaware of a brewing crisis. I went through difficult, hilly terrains, forested villages, until I came face to face with the plant, Costas Spectabilis. I then collected some Costas Spectabilis samples, following strictly the procedures which Nick had described to me, and proceeded to have discussions with the natives and interviews with Fulani medicine men who told me about the medicinal value of the plant Coastal Spectabilis. The plant is now doing very well in his garden in Lagos. Buoyed by his ability to locate the Coastal Spectabilis, our national plant in Plateau State, and successfully transplanting it in Lagos in his determination to conserve it. Thomas had also gone further between 2016 and 2017 to develop a unique product out of his research with the plant as the theme. A product that can boost Nigeria's image, earn the country foreign exchange, 
provide jobs for Nigeria's teeming unemployed, creates more opportunities, and is in line with this government's Made in Nigeria policy. As regards to this innovation, he has made several attempts to reach the president for a letter that would enable him patent his work, as required by the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Investment, all to no avail. Thomas has written letters routed through various agencies and ministries, like the Attorney General of the Federation, the Office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, the Federal Ministry of Information, Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Environment, National Orientation Agency, and more. But he couldn't get the President's attention. It is for this reason that I have decided to document my experiences and struggles for Nigerians in particular and for the international society at large. It is my hope and desire that through this project, Nigerian citizens will begin to appreciate our national plan. Also, this is a clarion call to the President and to other relevant government agencies to look in my direction with a view to annexing the immense educational, diplomatic, political, environmental and economic benefits that could accrue to our nation when this innovative and new product based on our national plant is patented and commercialized.